This is lesson 16-2, and the focus is, how can you find the horizontal or vertical distance between two ordered pairs? You have learned that ordered pairs name locations on a coordinate grid. Today you will learn how to use ordered pairs to find length or distance between them. I want you to think about, when would you need to find the difference between coordinate points? Please pause and think about that question. One possibility might be when you're trying to find the distance between two locations, or when you're trying to find the difference between the size of similar shapes on a coordinate grid. Please use your 10 by 10 grid to work on the following problem. In planning a miniature village, Glenn plotted the post office at 0, 7, the hospital at 5, 7, the school at 3, 1, the library at 3, 6, and the bank at 5, 1. Use your grid to plot these five points, and then please answer the question, which building is farthest away from the hospital? Please pause now to solve this problem. Please compare your grid to the one on the screen. Remember that the x value in an ordered pair represents the horizontal different distance and the y value represents the vertical distance. In an ordered pair, the x value comes first, followed by the y value. If you need to correct any points on your grid, please do so now. Looking at the five ordered pairs, I want you to think about what are some of the similarities between the ordered pairs? Please pause now and come up with any similarities you can between these pairs. You may have noticed that the post office and the hospital share the same Y value of 7. You may have also noticed that the hospital and the bank share the same X value, in this case 5. and the bank and the school share the same y value. Again, this time it's 1. Looking at your grid, you may find it easy to figure out which building is the furthest from the hospital. However, we need to prove it mathematically. Since the post office and hospital share the same y value of 7, we're going to subtract the x values. So in this case, we're going to take the 5 minus 0 equals 5. This means the post office and hospital are 5 units apart. Similarly, to find the distance between the hospital and the bank, we're going to subtract the y values since they share x values of 5. So 7 minus 1 gives us 6. So the bank and hospital are six units apart. Next, we can compare the bank and the school since they share a y value of one. So we're gonna look at the x value, which gives us five minus three equals two. The bank and school are two units apart. We can also notice that the school is two units away from that y coordinate that the hospital and bank shares. And from our graph, we can clearly see that the library is closest to the hospital, so we can eliminate that as a possibility. So, which building is the farthest from the hospital? According to this reasoning, the school will be the furthest from the hospital. Let's go to our graph to check to see if that's correct. When looking at the graph, it's pretty clear that the bank and school are both the furthest from the hospital, with the school being slightly farther since it is two units to the left. So to get back to the focus question, how can you find the horizontal or vertical distance between two ordered pairs? 
if the x coordinates are the same, you're going to subtract the y coordinates. If the y coordinates are the same, you're going to subtract the x coordinates. Please make sure you took good notes and bring them to class tomorrow. Also, please find the distance between the ordered pairs shown here. You may use your grid paper to help, and please bring your answers to class.